What's going on? Danny Crew, it's Danny Drew here, and we are back for live game number two. This one's going to be fun. Last one was fun. This one is going to be super exciting. I'm glad to share this with you. If you're enjoying the channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe. You know what you got to do. Without further ado, enjoy the game and stay great. All right, first position. We got a board here. First thing I noticed, the ore is abysmal. So, you know, that kind of makes me think you could play off of something like the 843 to pick up that ore. There's going to be kind of three players that could get decent wheat here because this five is going to get locked. Six, nine, three is very interesting too. Five, nine, ten is somewhat flexible. I like the five, nine, ten too. And I think the wooden, the, the brick, there's a lot of brick options here. I really like that. Otherwise, you could go eight, four, three. But again, I don't think you get on the good wheat unless you play something off the five. But that's not really great production. Six, nine, three really catches my eye. But I'm assuming they're going to go 8 3 4 here. You could also do something like the 6 5 12. Never play Cities and Knights. Give me one second. Let me uh <laughs> let me lock this in. Also, there's only yeah, all these spots have good sheep spots. Woodport and sheep port's not bad. And I'm curious if someone takes the 8 3 4, what's their incentive to go sheep port? Not great. Um an issue too is I think the ore goes. I think all these spots go. Why don't we try to make the 693 work? I, I think the touch of ore is nice. The wood port has actually some potential venom. I think the sheep ore has venom. And I think we're going to find a way to work in the weed in this situation. And intuitively, I think what's going to happen here is I think someone's going to go 6512 down. It's an interesting pick. I, I think if I wanted to be more safe, you can go something like the 5910. That's probably like the, the most basic setup. But I think we have a little bit more dynamicism with the 693. Never played Cities and Knights, a video series about ex expansions. Could be cool to introduce them. Yeah, we'll see about that. Um, I wouldn't necessarily like to do like full out content for the expansions. Because frankly, I only know really Cities and Knights. I've played Seafarers once or twice. And I've won one time. So I think a 50% win rate is pretty good. But... Uh, I think it'd be better. There's a lot of videos that already kind of explain the different expansions and how to play them. So, oh, six, three, four, huh? All right. So we get the sheep port uncontested. Um, we might be able to work in something like this nine, ten, two here. But now that he's done this, the board locks in just a very. Ugh, oh, I don't like this. But then we also have the six, eleven, twelve. Okay, so we're getting one of these spots. Yeah, I don't really like. I don't know like what he's he's got to take this here and then we get something like 10 3 11 point left and we get to the 5 10 that's pretty good I think we get the coordinated threes are really nice I think the 5 10 is a super nice expansion spot oh darn where do we go that's pretty good that's pretty good we could also plow we have a starting road we have tons of sheep and we would just more or less need a 10 to roll um the plow's interesting. It gives us the road network. And the question is, is anyone going to beat us here? Maybe red. Is it necessary? Because I think like, I think the 10, 3, 11 is actually really nice. It doubles our nine. So our nines and tens are doubled. Question is, is the five just better for us? What do you guys think? I'll let you guys decide here. I think the plow is playable. I think being safe, 10, 3, 11 might be good. But then we do give orange a little bit of expansion here. Versus if we take the 1092, we're going to have a more solidified road network. And frankly, I think we get the 510 anyways. And I think that's a better game for us. There's already there's already plenty of wheat on this board. We're going to plow. Okay, so we need to grab some rare cards here. Brick, brick, or wood sheep. So I like thick commies hand. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm plowing you and taking your cards. But I think getting the wood or the sheep's pretty nice. And now we're just super close to, you know, 110 and we get our settle. We will become a big target with that, but what's up, Combo? But there is actually a lot of wood, like uh, red. Yeah, so there might be a case if the nine rolls. The one thing we cannot afford to do here is to lose the wheat. We can lose everything else, but the wheat is sacred in our hand here. And we're totally getting robbed. But actually, it's kind of difficult. Yeah, I was going to say, we we are in our own world here. Come on, 10. There we go. All right, that's an easy trade. Brick for brick for wood here. Brick for wood. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to do two. I think he might like this, and it just makes our life really sweet. 
because we we get brick on we get a bunch of brick on the nine anyways but i think securing this spot really nice for us interesting he doesn't want it this is fine too i kind of like the fact that our hand is kind of secure a little bit with the brick there so if someone does steal from us they're blocking the nine and probably stealing a brick so as long as the 10 doesn't get blocked i'm pretty happy oh well now i'm definitely i can offload a wheat um he doesn't have he only has brick so what I can do is I can do a wheat and a brick for wood here with red and get the subtle. Yeah, the coordinated threes are sick here. And I think long term, what we can do is we can take 10, 3, 11. We'll go to the 8, 3. And then by that time, we should hopefully have a subtle. There it is. Do you play Tarin in World of Warcraft? I don't play World of Warcraft to start. So I'm, I'm no. Oh, so this is what I'm talking about. The nine will get hit and then the brick will leave. We've got a pretty good padded hand. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so we have the settle anyways. There's a lot of sheep on this board. Might have a deal here to get it. Yeah, parfait. So we're gonna see if we can do something like brick for wood. I don't think this trade exists anymore. All right, threes, make my day. All right, we need the tens, perfect. Tarn, I have no clue what you're referring to, my man. I don't, I've never played WoW. I've seen it, of course. Bad, not a really good block there. If you know my hand, you know, I've got a bunch of brick already. Don't take the wheat. Doesn't even steal from us. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, strategically too, guys, I'm considering this idea of maybe dropping two roads to the 510 just to secure the spot even further. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Nah, then we go get the sheep port next because then we get the eight. It's too good. It's too good not to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, brother. Is this road, road, settle? It's perfect. Will the seven hit? Oh my goodness, it's too good. Okay, so we can plow, but I think we've already destroyed orange enough. So we have two options. Either we go to the sheep port, which I kind of like that. I think doubling the three and picking up the eight is just super good. And we do have the sheep port and the wood port in our back pocket. And frankly, I just don't think Orange is going to muster up enough resources to road road and settle before I can do that. So, 8-3 looks great to me. Yeah, and now my flexibility. I have a city with a 3. 1-3, one, three, we're looking hot. It does suck. I will admit, it does suck that our 6 is... Or our 9 is blocked, excuse me. And we also have a hand that we don't want to get plucked here. Oh, it's beautiful. So perfect. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the only person that could take it would be Red if he had a road builder. I mean, just the threats on the board are just not there right now. So how many people would have taken 693 six, here in my position? I'm just curious. Now, I do have to be careful because logically, I think the next move for Orange would be to road road here. But, um, you know, what can you do about that? I think I will pop. I think... The utility of a dev here, whether it's a knight, just keeping my nine alive is fine. And obviously anything else is great. Because like, what else? I'm Really, the only thing I'd be waiting for is a three. But if a three hits, then great. My hand's good again. So let's pull the mono. You guys ready? I'm going to show you how to pull a mono. Nice, I did it. Yeah, it depends. It depends how he feels about me, right? If he feels like the 510 is, is worth his time. It's pretty nice for him. I think it balances his hand... A little bit better it also gives them a road play the safe pick that's fair that is fair my man so ooh, i do think though strategically going for the 510 would be our next play and hopefully by that time we can get a three or a few threes under our belt we're looking much better and i think here what we'll do is we'll block the six we could also block the five but i think stopping a lot of the the brick production is really nice and i guess i'd be more just concerned about red going nuts but man their their position is not looking too hot admittedly it's awesome for him but it's risky since you're likely to get it first yes that's true but the only issue with that is okay he's got a hand now i think i'm going to hit uh orange here he's the only person that i'd be really concerned about and potentially if i steal like that or i'm pretty happy yeah these fours are nuts there we go. Our nine is back. Poor black man. He's having a hard time. Eight four three is good, but I guess like what you would end up pairing that with 
maybe like 9, 10, 2, run over to the brick port. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't see it. 1, 3, I think will pop for sure. I just think we've got a, a double threat here of taking road and army. Oh my god. Actually, a 6. Um, Let me think here. Yeah, I think dropping the two roads is fine. And it also keeps our hand nice and chill. Now the question is, do we pop? Also, I'd be willing to do something like this. I actually like the pop here. Oh, um, who's who's in the worst position? It's definitely my boy here. I'm pretty happy with this. I think the only issue, the big issue with this though, guys, is it leaves just ore sitting in my hand. But it's the, it, I mean, it's weed, right? Like it's pretty much balances my hand. And then I think after the city, we'll run to the wood port. And that's all she wrote. Beautiful, beautiful. And after, I mean, road settle here, it's absolutely lights out. I was looking good at the start of this game, but he is getting his rolls to his credit. And I believe, okay, I was going to say, I believe he's got a city. Yeah, like, no joke. He's doing well. I think the combinations of some threes and fours have been really paying off for him. But he's got to start buying devs. I think going for this road adventure is not the way. Jeez Louise. You got to give him credit. He's rolling. He's rolling. Um, I think I've just got to stop him from sitting. Yeah. Now a few fives. Oh, balls. And the thing is, this guy's going to block the nine. But I think he's actually going to... Yeah, I was going to say, I think he's going to hit orange. Because now orange is doing this play here. He's making his intentions known that, known that he's in a race with black. So I, I don't I don't think that's a good block. Actually, better for Orange just to go left here. Because what happens is you give yourself the 3-1 and... Well, you get the 3-1 on both sides, but you open up two settle spots. Versus if you go this way, you're going after a wheat port. Okay, so we are a 5 a five and a 6 away from the, the city. I'm telling you guys, this position's about to get super ugly. Ah, uh, next. I got you next turn. Poor Black, man. Like, he hasn't literally done anything... Okay, so a 5, 3, or 2 gives us the city. He doesn't... This is kind of like a weird mission here. Nice, nice block. Four is nuts here. Okay, 5, 2, or 3. You made an enemy out of orange. Well, orange was always my enemy. Nah, nah, we got a, we got a potential hand here. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, I would do this if I had the wood port, because two wood would be a free card. Why can't you all just be friends? I know, right? <laughs> By the way, is the music uh, the music good? Levels? It's all good. I mean, it's all good for me anyways. Um, he's got a brick. I'll definitely train the brick here. Oh my goodness. I believe in you. I believe in you, Black. Ooh, <laughs> look at these trades. All right. Nobody has wheat. Yeah, that's the thing too at this point. I dominate the board on everything. Like I have the five, I have the three, I have the six. Like, what wall do I not have? I don't have the four. I definitely don't have the four. You can't hear music? It's weird. Sometimes you guys, you can hear it in some cases. Uh, what is he, four for one here? The thing is, homeboy is not even close. He needs, like, he needs a wheat roll. Okay, I got you on the break here. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. He needs wheat. <laughs> All right, brother. Relax. He's going to get a very rude awakening when the guy just straight up settles. I got brick. Hear the sweet music of dice rolling. Okay, no worries. I got... You. Well, he's got it now. Where the hell's our rolls, by the way? All right, we need a roll here, guys. Like six, two, five, nine. Okay. It's an expensive city, but we're going to take it. I am... There we go. There we go. I mean, this is just lights out now. I can give you sheep now. I think he's just got it. Yeah, I think he can just four for one. Bam. Hey, you got to give credit. Orange is like, he's in the fight here. But he's going to lose road, and I think we're just going to win. Nicely done. Nice. All right, one three for the squad. All right. Oh, my goodness. By the way, we are in placement games. Let's keep that in mind. Port your sheep for wheat, then get two sheep. Yeah, I mean, we don't have to get too fancy here. I mean, I, I think we wrap this up pretty easily. And, um, yeah, I, 
I mean, do I pop here? I kind of think I do. Yeah. By the way, the ordering there was probably not the best, but I at this point, I don't think it matters too much. Because, I mean, the, even if we pull the road builder, we use the road builder connect. So it, it, it doesn't matter. There we go. Nice two. You see what I'm saying? Like a lot of people say, oh, you got to pop first. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right, but... I see you, Orange. Doesn't he have one ore? I think he has one ore. No, okay. Well, he doesn't have... It doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, he's definitely got ore now. He'll probably do a wheat for ore here. Look at this beast. Look at him go. He needs to start buying some devs, though. I guess the city definitely helps that mission. All right, so we need, what, an eight and a nine? Well, we need a nine and whatever. A three is another city. I think we'll definitely take that. Actually, no, if we pop a three, we're going to buy two devs because I think then army and settle for the wins easy or just settle and take road. That's also an option too. That's probably the better option. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. We'll just drop a city and take road game. Like that's, that's the thing is we, we have 20 different ways to win here. One more three for the boys. Ooh, damn it. In this case, then what I'll do is I'll leave enough for a pop. Um, because we should be getting stolen in theory and hopefully they don't steal the wheat. Oh my god. <laughs> um, damn, well, I wish I knew the three was going to roll again. So do we just pop twice or do we drop a city? I'll let you guys decide. What do you think is the fastest way to victory here? Yeah, I agree. Just city and road. Oh, we're getting a lot of pops. All right, we'll pop. I'm seeing, I'm seeing pop. You guys are split here. All right, the next answer that comes in the chat, I'm going to do it. The next the next decision, because you guys are 50. City, okay. All right, I'll see him. Yeah, because the thing too is... An eight, eight and six, ten and six, it's all winning for us. Or we could just build a ten, screw it, whatever. And also now the th every three is a city. So if we get two threes, we win the game. Like it, it doesn't matter. Actually, though, we gotta be careful. Homeboy is cooking. Like he could win. Alright, all right, we gotta we gotta clean this up quickly. Dude, I, I mean he could win here. Road road settle pop. Also, what we could do is we could just start popping here. Um and just take army for the win. So like if a five rolls, we'll do it that way. That's pretty good for us. Um, I did for two cards. Honestly, I'm getting a little concerned here. Like I'm definitely getting a little concerned with our boy. Because the problem is he could drop another city. Oh, we needed that. Army's not that slow. I mean, you need three orbits. No, I, I agree. Rose probably the fastest way. But our life is not. Yeah, we just can't trade him here. That's not good. That could have been game. Oh, baby. Honestly, I think we have to pop here because we can't let him have road and army here. I have not had Catan 6. Well, you're doing well, my friend. Guys, it's two pops. All right, well, that's game. So we need to make sure he doesn't get cards. All right. I think we got this. If he has like, if he has two knights or something, we just absolutely crush. And what we do is we just put it on the four until we die. He's getting a sheep here, though. In the makeup of his hand, he's got what? Brick... Okay, so if a three rolls, it could be game. Like if he has a VP and he pulls another VP. Because we only have one VP. But we got to put black on one VP as well. So it's unlikely he'll pull two. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. GG. All right, we'll just let him do his thing. Oh, that's right. No, he has the port. Good luck. He didn't do anything with it. Oh, so he pulled all of that. So he has no sheep, right? So I actually think the... He's trying to build a city. Yeah, so the question is, what do we hit? I think we hit the four. The four, I think that's just the winning block for us. And we just have to make sure that he doesn't find a way. Absolutely has to be the four here. Because he's missing all the other ore. And if we pull a wheat or ore here, we're looking good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> all right. We just have to pray that... And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get this out of my hand. This is a nice little tactic for you guys. Um, so if we take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now if he tries to block us, he's hopefully he's coming up short. See what I'm saying there, guys? I don't know. I have no clue. We have to avoid the pop now. So he's got, he has a pop in his hand. Well, we just have to avoid a VP pool. I think we've got a good shot. I think we got a good shot here. So he's got like a a twenty percent chance to pull the win, I think. Maybe even maybe even worse than that. No, it's way worse than that. 
Hopefully, ports for the road. Woohoo! Let's go. Let's go. All right. Yeah, okay. So, we knew it wasn't a night. Yeah, I couldn't take road, unfortunately. Dude, kudos to him, though. I mean, he played that very well to get to nine points after getting plowed. It has to be a result of fours. Oh, I mean, sometimes the variance will swing, you know? What's up? We got 45 people here. Appreciate everyone hanging out. We're just uh, enjoying a fun little game. I'm actually just on the tail end of it, guys. Going out to dinner tonight. And have a good night with the family. All, all those fours in just one city. Yeah, well, I think that was also the, the issue with the, the wheat, right? Because he only had the three. Though it felt like the three showed up a little bit more. But the fours were just insane. And it's like, it's even more so interesting when he's coordinated on it, right? So not only did it high roll, but he was coordinated. So it's like even more impactful. That was our thanks so much. But um, that was a fun game. Let's go look at some of the stats here. Yeah, strategically, we just had a good position. I think 693, I really like what it has to offer. If you guys seen any amount of my videos, you know, I like to say three unique resources. The ports are really good. Actually, I love the mono potential of the sheep. Uh, the wood ports really not that bad. And then we just have a good balance. Picking up the 10311 to the 510. Super cool. Catch up. What times do you usually stream? I don't usually stream. It used to be a thing for me about a year and a half ago. And then I kind of just put my head down and became a competitor and not a streamer. But I'd like to try to stream a little bit more for you guys and, and make this kind of part of the routine of just connecting with the audience a bit more. So if it if it's helpful, I can come up with a potential streaming schedule, but I don't really have a definitive answer on that yet. Guys, really appreciate it. The channel's just been doing awesome. We just hit 6,000 recently. And we're already blasting up, I think, almost like 6,200 now. We're getting close to that. So every day the channel's growing. Really appreciate the support. And if you do want to support the channel, you know, you can support via Twitch here. If you have the Prime subs, you want to do that. I've also got a membership on YouTube with exclusive videos. I'm not here for the money, but if it's something you do want to do to help, you know, keep the channel growing, it truly means, it truly helps, and I appreciate that. I haven't had the best games recently, so I think I'm going to kind of just take a little bit of a, a competitive week off, spend some time with the family, kind of refresh, reset. I think that's a, that's important too. I'd love to talk about this more, you know, when you're getting frustrated um, or you're just having bad days or bad games. It's okay to walk away for a bit and refresh and come back. My wife and I watch your videos daily. Thanks. That's cool. Hopefully you learn something. Maybe it's, I try to balance education and entertainment edutainment maybe you can call it but we've got a lot of fun things i want to do for the channel and i want to expand some content ideas obviously the playthroughs aren't going to go away i want to keep those going the live streams i want to make that a fun feature of what we're doing here so it, we're just in a good place i'm very excited and again thank you for everyone for supporting me this was not a reality three months ago i hope you understand like if you said, oh, Drew, you'd be doing YouTube at this level, I'd be like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you got the wrong guy, but here I am.